Let's go back to it. Alright, I'm not gonna risk it. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Bro. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Why Arbus? I can hear the class laughing at me now. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about him in your textbook. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? 
or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so, so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think every day... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to hang because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to It looks like she's been gone imagine for months. Imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the sea. Empty, side. good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, 
Let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's, That's my family, family. not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why harvest? I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Again? I'd never let... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. 
John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening again. Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people- I need a hammer to break it open! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. There you go. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. I know where we went to put this video. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That, that means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Okay, I'm way, boy. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Well, I don't of course this there. academic drone won't do anything since the press...
Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. I better read. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Look over there. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Hey, do you understand English? Get lost. Nice, bro. 
None shall pass. Capiche? Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yes. So amazing we will. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Yeah, yeah, I know not. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get out now, Dana, so tell me the truth or rot in there. Hi, Mom. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Pretty easy. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell.
guys are. I'll give it boom. boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zach? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll Must go see Must protect Warren. my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. This shit. Damn, I better rewind. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Fuck this shit. Ow. Fuck this shit. Ow. That hurt. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Okay. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No. Um, thank you for watching the video. That's part one of it. So, I will be doing the second part. Oh, yeah, so I'll be the second part. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next part. See you later.